Hey friends, what's up? It's Brad Moser and I want to talk to you about Google Data Studio, which is an ed tech tool that you can leverage inside of Canvas. So let me first turn off the do not disturb so we don't get disturbed while I chat to you about Google Data Studio. Um, so Google Data Studio, it's been around since 2016. Um, basically what it is, is you take some data, maybe from a Google Sheet or Excel Sheet, uh, or online database, you link it up to Google Data Studio, it pulls in all the data, and then you can slice and dice that inside of um, a studio. Uh, but what's rad about it is, here's an example, what's rad about it is you can create interactive charts right alongside the text and the page that's not only interactive like this, where you can you know hover over and see the data, but it's also interactive like with drop downs. In this case, I'm filtering or applying the data uh, to a date range, or here I'm unchecking data on this whole sheet here. I'm checking and unchecking the data, and it's adjusting the data on the screen, or I'm filtering or I'm sorting. So it makes um, interacting with lots of data or big data, it makes it more interactive. And so what you're looking at here are multiple pages of a data studio, so multiple pages. So you can add lots of data and, and produce or create these really nice rich reports that are interactive for the end user. Um, what's cool is it operates like a Google document. So, um, so if you create, um, let me go to an example report. If you create a new report, uh, it looks something like this. This is kind of a basic report. And in that report, you can see it kind of has a Google Doc feel because you can share this and change access for people that you share it with. So view only or edit only. You can collaborate in real time and generate these reports. These reports are uh, being pulled in or being pulled from the data. So when you um, get into a studio, you want to first edit it and you want to actually add data to the report. And so what you're doing is you're using these tools down here to add data. Typically, I've just used Google Sheets. So I get data from like a Google form, it goes into a Google Sheet, and then I link that Google Sheet into my uh, studio. And when you do that, now you have all of the columns here available to create um, charts, graphs, um, it, you know, tables of that data which creates these pages. And then, you know, I've created multiple pages and produced the report that I would share to others and it would look something like this. And then they can drive through the report themselves synchronously or asynchronously. Um, so here's another, let me give you one other example. One example we use is we do a, a the all approve list. So these are apps that have been at one point or, or another approved in our district. And so we, you know, we've linked to our Google form where we collect the requests. And then once they're approved, they get put into this report. And then, you know, teachers can filter this or students can filter this, this data. Uh, what's really cool then is we've actually taken this report right here in this view. And just using some uh, simple iframe embedding, we've uh, taken that and added it to our hub. Uh, where did we add it? We added it right into, that's right, the software app request form. And so let me go to the uh, request form. You can see, you know, we, we have Canvas page. It's a basic Canvas page uh, with some, you know, headers on it. But then we've embedded that Google Data Studio I just showed you a second ago. We've embedded it here so that teachers can see and use that directly in the page. Um, but we've also given a link in Canvas, so you can just link it out, and they can open that into a full screen page if they don't want to preview it in Canvas. So you can see there's the full screen version, and here it is embedded into Canvas. And guys, all that embed is, it's very simple. When you get into Canvas, you use the little embed tool right here, and you just embed the code. Um, so what we use is something simple as an iframe. You just do iframe and uh, you link out the source of that iframe. You link out the source uh, to the URL of, uh, of the apps. So here's the URL for this data studio. We just copy that URL, we paste it in right here, and we tell the iframe that we want it to be, you know, 100% width, and we want it to have a height 
of, I don't know, let's say like 500 pixels. So that's pretty much the basic iframe that I, I, I basically will build is I'll just do an iframe. You paste the URL from your source. I give it 100% and 500 pixels. That's pretty standard and hit submit. And that will embed that little iframe in there and boom, 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 away you go. So hope you enjoyed this uh, quick view of, of Google Data Studio. Uh, again, students can use this directly in Canvas page or you could have them create their own and visualize their own data. So uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you took something away learning about Google Data Studio inside of Canvas.